Hi guys, welcome to this video. Um, so this is a video about um, some accessories that I've been making for the Auto Big Rig. Uh, the first of which is a barrel. And the idea is that I'm going to get the barrel cast, <coughs> copied and cast, um, so I can use it all over the place on terrain pieces and, and all sorts. I've really struggled to find um, a barrel that fits with a uh, hero scale 28 mil. A lot of the ones you find are for 28 mil sort of historical and their models are a lot thinner and so when you see the barrels they look tiny next to the um, the GW models. Um, which of course you could argue is a problem with the GW models being absolutely massive for, <laughs> for how tall they are but yeah it's one of those things. So let's have a look. Now so we've got an orc in the middle here just for scale and we've got the two attempts that I had at making the uh, the barrel. So the first of which is this one here and as you can see it's as tall as the orc um complete failure. I got the scale completely off. It looks it looks quite good on on sort of scenery and vehicles and things but next to the models no. So what I then did is I decided to make one that was both thinner and shorter. Now I'd had um, some sort of heroic scale barrels before, if I just bring this into focus. Um, but they were like double the thickness of this. So you can imagine they're basically as wide as a 28 mil base. They looked crazy. So what I wanted to do is make a thinner one. Now um, this is what I came up with. The construction of this is basically, there's, not, there's a styrene tube in there and then I've wrapped 0.25 mil um, plastic card sheet around until I got the thickness that I wanted. So I've basically doubled the thickness with plastic card sheet, glue all the way through it so it's nice and strong. Then I've stuck some plates on the top and bottom, not being too tidy with how they look because uh, I like the idea that they're uh, they're welded or something to that effect. And then it's just wrapping um, styrene rod around. So there's a one mil rod across the top and then there's half mil rod through the mill here. And then it's just a, a little bit of a tube on the top there to to give the spout the, the place we'd fill it up with anyway. And that's what I came up with. So in terms of the size of an orc, it's sort of up to his chest. Um, if you put it next to a guardsman, a 40k guardsman, it would probably be too big. Um, but it should work quite nicely for the scenery pieces I want to work on and also the, uh, the big rig trailer. And that was it really. Um, Really happy with the way it came out. Uh, let me know what you think, uh, especially in terms of the scale. Um, I really struggled with getting something the right size on this. It seems that two and a half centimeters high is about right for a heroic scale, even though it comes up to the chest of the models that it's, it's going to be next. It's the it's about the right scale to look right. Um, and then with the oversized lip lips that I've got to, I've got going on around it, the ridges, if you will, it. Uh, sort of makes it fit in with with rope scale quite well or in my opinion at least <laughs> so that's uh, that's what i've got guys um thanks for watching see you in the next one cheers